Yeah, I smelled it on you. <laughs> what are you doing on this side of town? Well, damn, you acting like you know already. What's wrong with you? Nothing at all. Just here visiting Benny. Oh, Benny stays on this side of town? Where does he live? Not, not in these buildings. Yes, in these buildings. Hmm. Who do you know that lives over here, Lisa? You sure are asking a lot of questions. Not really. It's your boy here, Wesley from A Connection TV here on YouTube, the one place in the world where we actually adopt similar connections despite our differences. And welcome to my channel. If this is your first time seeing me, definitely follow me on all social medias, uh, Twitter and Instagram at A Connection TV. Like this video, leave a comment on this video, and subscribe because all three things are free to do. And if you do one of the three or three of the three, you will help your boy out. Now, I am here to talk about episode 11, Weight of the World, the Challenge World Championship. Baby, we are coming to the finals. And this was one of the best episodes in a long time because it was drama, there was suspense, there was thrills. And baby, this was one of the best home brawls I was ever yelling at for, like, I could remember because y'all know I'm very forgetful, but baby, I was yelling. I was screaming. What? Oh my God, this was a very good episode. And it was like a clean, swift episode all the way to, you know, the elimination round. Uh, and yeah, let's get into it. Five teams left, Australia, UK, and two USA teams. Australia, UK, no, two Australians, two USA, and one UK team. And, um, you know, you already know who my favorites are. You already know who I'm rooting for. But according to what's to come, I don't know. It's looking like Danny is going to be hospitalized. And I'm not really feeling that at all. Like, what? <laughs> Troy and Casey defeat Darrell and Kiki. And, you know, Casey is coming in gloating in the mud. I mean, I will be too. You know, me and Casey started off. We, well, we've been on a... On a <laughs> on a horrible foot for a very long time, plenty of seasons. But this is the first time in reality TV history where I've seen Casey like work and get to the final on purpose, right? So I can really be there and be like, yo, she's, she's dope. You know what I'm saying? She deserves to be there. And her, especially her and Troy, deserve to freaking be there. And I will be saying the same thing for Darrell and Kiki because Darrell and Kiki kind of always been thrown in or, you know, um, Tristan and Kellyanne has always like been thrown in. So like, for me, I feel like if you're always thrown in and you're making it and making it and making it and then you get to the final, then you deserve to be here. And of course, if you politically play and you win, then yeah, you deserve to be here. But it's more of a respect thing if you go through the elimination. It's kind of what Tori was saying to Danny. If you go through the eliminations and you make it to the final. Granted, Tori ain't been to no through no eliminations and neither has Danny. But we're gonna see who gonna win. And again, by the look of this, you know, coming to or what's coming up next, it doesn't look like Danny and, and Tori are going to win. Kaz wants to speak to Jordan because she feels like she is a pawn in his game, and they end up having a conversation. But to me, by the looks of this conversation between the post confessionals and between what's actually happening on screen during recording, it seems like throughout the particular challenge or the remainder of the challenge, her, Kaz and Jordan still bump heads because in the post confessional, he's still finding himself needing to apologize to her and, you know, Kaz is still crying. Mind you, she walked off on one of the post confessionals. So clearly, even though in this moment, Jordan is apologetic and saying that he appreciates her or whatever, you kind of get an idea that maybe they didn't win the final or maybe they came close or maybe they dropped out because of her in the eating challenge. I don't know what happened, but he's still having to apologize to her in the post-confessional, and it still feels soft in her heart because she's crying. So I'm under the impression that things didn't really change that much for the remainder of the show. What do y'all think? Yes, and Emily feel that they are completely safe because they have a deal brokered with, you know, Jet Kaz and Jordan that, you know, Kaz and Jordan won't win, and it'll be what it needs to be. Child, this this whole thing is a mess. Sarah has a husband and a child, and I'm I'm sure they probably mentioned this before, but I never really cared that much about Sarah to really get into her personal life. So you know, I'm shocked to be honest by seeing the husband and the child. Sarah's husband is fine, and so I'm like, I just don't see I don't see Sarah 
as the stereotypical motherly figure that, you know, the world has, you know, etched in my head that a mother should be or a mother should look like. I know that sounds horrible and I'm sure it, yeah, it is, but I just never pictured her as that, you know? She's very gritty, she's very rough, she's very like, rawr, and I just don't see her getting emotionally emotional about her husband and her child. But shout out to her having a beautiful family. The family is beautiful. The husband is gorgeous, but apparently there's problems at home and she's feeling withdrawal from being away from her family and she's not liking it at all. And she confides in Danny and Danny, you know, is kind of roping her in and saying, hey, you'll be fine. Apparently Danny and Sarah have been attached to the hip with each other every day, calling each other after their win. I guess it was theirs. After the win that they had on the Challenge USA or whatever, you know, coaching each other and, and bigging each other up or whatever the case may be, leading up to the World Challenge. So they're pretty tight, I would say. At least they, they pro have proclaimed this tightness all season long. This particular challenge is called Downfall, and this particular challenge will decide who's going to make it all the way to the final, or at least the winner is guaranteed a spot in the final. So, you know, these teams really need to win. This is a swimming challenge leading to a not untied challenge, and Emily and Yes think they have it in the bag. I really appreciate how these, these do these uh, post-confessional tapings because you be thinking that people are really gonna last and then they don't last. So the producers are really, really smart with not giving that away, but, Emily and yes, I'm thinking that at least they're going to make it to the ladder first. Wrong. Jordan and Troy make it to the ladder. And that's probably because Emily is carrying yes. Ooh, let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Because Emily been carrying yes this whole competition. And she going to end up stanking him at the end about if it wasn't for yes. Girl, what did yes do to you but make y'all lose? You had to carry him in all the swimming challenges. You had to carry him all the puzzle challenges. You, what has Yes done but been a male to your female in no partnership? I'm trying to figure it out. I like Yes. He won his last challenge and, you know, uh, won his, you know, on his own. So he's a competitor. But he's been an Achilles heel to Emily this whole game. You know what I'm saying? Emily and Yes making up the ladder. They sabotage Casey and Troy. Um... Um, Jordan and Cass make it up to the ladder. They sabotage Emily and Yes. Now, Emily and Yes is shocked, but, you know, Jordan know how to find a loophole in his dealings that he make with people. And so the deal was not to make sure that they win. The deal was to make sure that they don't win, Jordan and Cass. So they sabotage Emily and Yes. And I'm like, all right, here we go. What's about to go down? So Jordan and Cass are up there chilling. They up there chilling. Helping Sarah and Theo to the win. And Kaz, out of all four of them, is the one that figures out the mathematical equation to help them win. Tori is pissed. Nobody knows what's going on, but clearly there's some deals being made. Clearly there's some deals being had. Child, all the deals are done. We have our winner, and now the drama begins. Yes, walks up to Troy like, hey, Troy, you know, sorry we had to put you in, man. We didn't know what we were going to do, and all this hoopla. And I'm like, save it. We already know. Like, what are you talking about? Like, yes, this was dumb. Like, you're the reason, yes. You're the reason! Yes. And Troy don't buy it. I like Troy. Troy is like, well, he's 5'7 and spunky. I like Troy. Troy seems like he has a good moral compass. And, you know, although he, his original partner was Amber, I don't think that Amber and Troy would have made it this far. So Casey coming to, Am to Troy only proves that they have the ability to make it far, right? It only strengthens his ability to win. And I can give Casey that, right? I, I can give Casey that. They both equally have been yoked and proving to the oppos opposition that they deserve to be here, right? No one is carrying the other. They're equally yoked, and that's hot, pretty hot and tempting to me. I like that. I'm, I'm still more Troy than Casey, but they're both like, they both powerhouses and you got to give them what they got to give them. Jordan agrees that he wants to go stalemate or says or suggests that they all should go stalemate, right? I, I mean, it probably would have ended up the same way anyway, no matter how you slice it. But they end up going stalemate, which means that Sarah and Theo have to make a decision. Sarah is so butthurt 
by having to make a decision between two of her buddies. But to me, it's a clear win-win. The reason why it's a clear win-win is because who did I come in the house with? Who's been speaking to me all day, every day on the phone, so y'all claim? Coming up to this, who's been prepping me for this? Who's been coaching me through this? According to my TV screens, Danny has. So it just it is what it is. Sarah met Emily and yes through this competition. So for me, Danny takes Trump. Danny takes Trump for me. You know what I'm saying? But I have to commend Sarah, even though I don't really care for her that much because to me, she didn't win the last thing. And no one still has cleared me on whether or not she made it to the top. Maybe I should just watch the ending of it to see if she made it to the top. But even though I don't feel her, I'm not feeling her from that, I commend her for speaking to both Danny and Emily about having a hard time making a decision. That was, I, I just was applauding that really, really down home chick for her doing that. I'm, I'm really, really appreciative of that. Even though Danny was hurt and Emily was hurt, I mean, she cares for them both. She needed to tell them both, and it was what it was, right? We get to the particular thing, and I'm just trying to figure out who Sarah's going to pick, to be quite honest. I want to figure out who Sarah is going to pick. But TJ is like, I told y'all not to stalemate. It's going to be what it's going to be. Casey and Troy are going to have to pick, and Casey and Troy pick Emily and yes. Now, quiet as it's kept, I already knew that Casey was going to give Emily a run for her money, but Emily is a, is a, is a uh, thing too, so athlete too, so I thought it was going to be an even match, and bit, boy was it, right? But I just knew Wes was about to, uh, uh, yes, was about to smash uh, Troy. Child, Troy ain't the one. Troy is not the one. All of 5-7 Troy ran through, yes. And in my mind, I'm like, what's going to go down? What's going to go down? Oh, this was so good. Like, it was so good because the both teams going after the both of them. And I'm like, oh, this is about to be a battle, baby. This is about to be a battle. But in my mind, I'm thinking Casey about to smash Emily. I'm thinking, I'm thinking Casey about to smash Emily. And yes, about to smash uh, uh, Troy. Cha Troy gooped me. Troy gooped me. And Troy smashed through yes. Smashed through him. And now I'm like, uh-uh. Wait, hold on. I'm like, I know they're not about to clean sweep. I know Casey and what you call it and Troy not about to clean sweep. I know it's not finna go down. I know it's not finna go down. Child, boom. I'm at this point, I'm yelling, screaming at the screens. I'm screaming, right? And you know, Emily go up against Casey. Be what I tell you. I was, I was, I was seething, salivating out the mouth. I'm screaming. I'm like, go, go, go. Because I didn't want it to be a clean sweep for Casey. Yeah, you know, Casey and Troy, they do anything. They're a power team. They are a power team. But, well, you know, I wasn't really, uh, I, yeah, after what Emily did to Kiki, uh, nah. So basically, they, both teams kind of like on the same play field for me. But I'm starting to like Emily, I mean, I'm starting to like Casey and Troy over Emily and yes. Because Casey and Troy this particular season did not play a funny Fugazi game. Emily and Yes kind of been Fugazi and funny with it. So at this particular point, I'm kind of like one up on, you know, Casey and Troy, kind of. But I'm still wanting Emily to beat Casey. Because <laughs> I just want to see how I get her ass handled to her. And baby, Emily gave it to Casey. Emily gave it to her. And I was like, this is a tie. This is a tie game. Now, TJ and, and, and came with the coin or whatever, like head flipped up, boom. I'm like, please give it to yes. Please give it to yes because yes need to prove himself. Like, yes ain't do nothing this whole season. Emily been held, holding him up this whole season, but it ended up with the women again. And, you know, when I tell you I ain't never been this hype for a hard bra, like I really haven't. I ain't been this hype for a hard bra in a long time time. And so watching Emily and Casey go at it again, baby, they fought. Emily fought. Like, there was a moment where Emily was pushing her back, pushing her back like this, holding on to the plastic, pushing her back. And I'm like, bitch, you better dig, girl. You better fucking like dig. But Casey got the better of her and got closer to her edge. Then Emily got closer to her edge and it was what it was. Casey and Troy won fair and square, and I felt so bad for Emily because Emily pulled her heart out crying at the end because she just wanted to win so bad, and I know, I mean, yes is the problem. Like, he couldn't even win his one up. 
Like, if yes would have won, y'all would have won. Mine, that would have gave you the gusto and the girth to just go through and beat him. But yes, like, what? Yes was a no. Yes was a no. And Casey and Troy pull out the win. They smash in the competition. Casey and Troy deserve to be in the finals. Casey and Troy probably will pull out the win. And I don't know. It just sucks because it seems like... It seems like it's going to be either Casey and Troy winning or Sarah and Theo because Kaz is in the hospital and Danny is in the hospital. So, who win it? Who win it? I think Sarah has heart. They, it don't look like they're going to be in the icy tundra like they was last time. So, Sarah did make it far. She just got stuck and they gave it a win. But um, I don't know. Casey's talking about my body is breaking down. We didn't, see, we didn't see Sarah or Troy breaking down in any of these clips. We saw Kaz breaking down. We saw Troy breaking down. We saw Danny in the hospital. You know what I'm saying? So we didn't see Sarah or we didn't, and we didn't see Troy. But I don't know. This could all be misleading. Who going to win? Who going to win? It's, it's either, it's gonna, I'm going to tell you all like this. It's going to be Casey or Troy, Sarah and Theo, Jordan and Kaz, and then Danny and Tori at the bottom. That's my predictions. Leave your comments below. Let me know what you think. I thought this episode was amazing. Shout out to Casey and Troy for making it. Baby, they earned their spot. They earned it. They earned their spot. And I can't do nothing but respect Casey and Troy in this particular moment, in this particular season. Right. Leave your comments below. Thank you for watching. Doo -doo.